All right. Welcome to, if I'm keeping track correctly, which I probably am not, episode 11 of Dorms and Deans. How um, long is it? Except it's more than 10 episodes. <laughs> um, today, we're going to play a beach episode. I know we stopped last episode in the middle of a fight. Or, no, at the very start of a fight. But, um, we're going to say that that's all in the past. We'll have a flashback, maybe, uh, to, to finish and resolve this. But we thought it would be a good time to just jump the narrative forward. I just to... hope nobody dies in that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, will, it, it will make it retroactively tragic that we're all acting like uh, Rot was still alive when really Rot had been like <laughs> rotting in the ground because they died during the, the fight. In the... Because we're gonna be going back in time for the foreshadowing. Is that what you call this? No. <laughs> like if if we. Goddamn. Like if if we uh, somebody dies in that fight. Oh, I how... see. <laughs> we would be playing as if Rod was still around during this episode, and I suddenly see. the episode just is is darker when you look back upon it. <laughs> it's all about the grieving <laughs> process. Um, five, five, five stages of grief. Yeah. Denial. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody dies. Maybe everybody dies, and this is the episode where you slowly realize you are in. Hey, it's you, the enjoying the afterlife. It's limbo, the beach. We're at, we're at peace. We're coming to terms. <laughs> we're already analyzing the episode before we had the episode. <laughs> so let's. Uh, um, okay, so Carrie is not here. Maybe he's showing up. Maybe not. Um, uh, I'm gonna be role playing as him, but if something comes up that requires spell casting, he's just on his way. He's on his way. Hell yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I am now. I'm like at 427. Like a minute ago. A minute ago. Okay. Cool. Um. So, uh, the setup for this is um, as as your characters, uh, uh before okay before the explanation for how how you are. Uh, uh, doing a beach episode, uh, what would your characters be doing at sort of like their uh, when we when we pan over to them? Uh, uh, My character yeah. Rod is exploring tidal pools and looking for fossils. Nice. Okay, uh, make an investigation check to look for some some fossils. I'm digging through the sand, looking for, at, at the water, just trying to find plants, oysters, or um, mussels, or whatever, to cool. have a seafood to get. Yay, a seafood oh, nice. Out. Make a survival check. Uh, how much was your investigation? Seven. Seven. Uh, so I think the only thing that you're going to, you're going to spot a couple of fishes. Okay. Uh, no, uh, no fossils. But now you, um, because droids can only shape shift and things they've encountered, uh, you should be able to to uh, shape shift into like smaller fish. No sharks or anything like that because you're only seven. Okay. So not yeah, swimming speed, but smaller fish. Um. Uh, I think all fish have swimming speeds. Okay, so you're like letting me have swimming speed. Wait. Oh, you, I thought you. Oh, I have swimming speed. You have you have it. I'm I'm just giving you like you you already have some um, because you, you saltwater know. fish at at your fingertips, right? Yes. yes. Cool. Um, I five. You got a five for I did not find that thing. Um, you're unfortunately gonna have to rely on this peaceful resort village uh, that's idyllic and and like staying in the back in the background, which is where your characters are staying. Um, you won't yeah, well, be... I'll just go to the store and buy it. <laughs> Say again? That's like, I gave up. Okay. Really? Now you roll a 20? <laughs> so as we watch your characters having fun and just making rolls, uh, uh, skill checks for things that aren't very high stake uh, uh, right Not now, time. We're, we're going to have a flashback to um, uh, the the letter that you received back from the amazing artificer. So Alvin, the the, the little uh, cabbage, is going to uh, arrive one day, probably 
like at as you're waking up, you're hearing some some like muffled what? on your door. What? What? And uh, what? What? As, what? As you uh, as you open your the door to your uh, dorm in Candle Keep, you hear boom. <laughs> Uh, as like you barely opened it and you hit something, you see Alvin sort of like uh, uh, arrives with a sealed envelope that, um, and it takes you a second to realize that this this seal is um, the crudest seal that you can think of. It's made out of what is clearly used uh, candle wax that has a little string of, uh, like a charred string uh, running through it. So it was clearly like a candle that somebody just put on the thing. And the seal is, um, the, the seal I think is just going to be the, the shape of a broken gear, like a metal gear. But they didn't have an, uh, a whole one, so they pressed a, like the two halves of a broken gear okay. to to sign this. Does Arthur Servo? Do you have a letter for me? Oh, I do. Sorry, uh, me. I did not write a letter. Uh, okay. You open it up. It signed. It says. Uh, I'll it, read it. I'll read it. Yep. Dear security team, it's about time we've met. There's lots of rumors. We're not really sure what's the truth and what's not. How about a trip to the beach? I'll meet you there. Sign A A. Okay. It's more specific on exactly like which uh, place you're going that you're going to meet, and specifically there's a, there's a, a P S section. If you, uh, uh, if you wish to prove you are trustworthy, uh, bring uh, more artifacts to fuel the resistance. Hey, isn't the resistance the good, the good guys? I mean, supposedly. We've not met them before, so yeah. we're not really sure. The fact that they're asking for magical items already is kind of suspect. <clears throat> but we've got a few. I say we just go, and even if we don't make an alliance, at least we'll be able to chill out the beach for a bit. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. When so the place that this is happening at is um, north from here at uh, a group of isles off of the coast of. Um, Thank you. You make it a little bit less left. Yeah, okay. Uh, off of the Sword Coast. Uh, these, th these are the islands of like some, uh, uh, like islands exclusive to elves for thousands of years, highly magical. Uh, in, uh, in the past 100 years, it's sort of like completely disappeared and was inaccessible and has only recently reappeared into the world. And before that, they, they, during the spell plague, uh, they had sorts of, of like weird protection. There's always something highly magical happening in, in this area. What is happening nowadays is that instead of being as cold, as frigid as the latitude would demand, uh, the climate has changed to tropical and it's become this sort of like uh, paradise, uh, paradise uh, place that people come in to, to be tourists in. A little oasis. And the, even the vegetation has sort of like adapted. So there's still a lot of like pine trees, but now their, their leaves are sort of like uh, um, larger and looking more like co coconut trees. Um, so. So the temperature changes, or is it, is it now a permanent? Uh, you don't know if it's permanent. Those islands, I, I don't have the, the name of the archipelago, uh, but... So is it kind of like the One Piece Islands? Mm -hmm. Is it kind of like the One Piece Islands? That each island has their own climate? Uh, no, it's it's just going to be tropical all over the, the destination. Okay. Um, traveling there is extremely expensive. 
and you are supposed to like you are expected to be here every every morning from sunrise to sunset being the security team when Zarka Minagra is asleep. As um, so, yeah, you uh, manage to like. Do you want to spend your own money on this, uh, or uh, do you think your you characters might find find a way for the school to fund this? You probably make it a work related related thing. I mean, we we did just get contact with somebody that possibly could harm that possibly harm the school. So you could argue that like maybe the bandits or the resistance are dangerous to the school in some way, especially since they have exploded a bomb underneath the school. Allegedly. Allegedly. Do we get paid time off? No. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. If, if it's tre- do you know who the treasurer is? If it's a work thing, <laughs> do you tell me? Do you think anybody in this court gets paid time off? If it is a work thing, we're still getting paid. But okay, we can try and make it a work thing. Cool. I think we're gonna try um, and make it a work thing. The arguments are pretty simple, right? This is a faction that exists underneath um, cool. Candle Keep. Um, so it's a neighboring faction, as far as you know, and they are related to a pretty big magical event, like the explosion of that bomb was a full earthquake. Yes. Things did break. Um, so if, if for no other reason than to uh, make sure there's not going to be any other like earthquakes near Candle Keep, I think um, you are given leave to go there. I'm going to ask one of you to make a persuasion check to convince Clark. Because, Clark? Yeah, Clark is the head of Inhuman Resources to approve this as paid yeah, time and to, and to pay for all of your expenses as well. You have all the time. Plus persuasion? Yeah. I got a plus two persuasion. If anything, I just um, if I roll low, I just use me. <laughs> is there anything that you're gonna do? Wait, to... I want to cast guidance. Okay. And that um, adds. Is guidance con- concentration? It's a cantrip. Yes, but is it concentration? I don't know. I'm not... uh, Because um, I, I think enhance ability would also, like. No, it's touch. No, that's not. Uh, it uh, is concentration. It is concentration up to one minute. Um, cool. So that means yeah. Uh, so that adds one d four to. Um, Whatever oh, you, roll. Are you sure it's all rolls or? Because um, is it saving? An ability check of its choice. Okay. Uh, not saves check. Yeah, not not saves. Th- does it also do attack rolls? No, it's just abil- ability checks. Okay, cool. So, yeah, perfect. So um, roll yeah. a d20 and a d4. Yep. Eleven. 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 So seventy-five percent of your of all of your expenses will be covered by the school. Right. But um, but that means that like uh, so basically we're we're, we're, going to, like, we're going to like we're going to say that uh, traveling and lodgings are paid off. are paid off. But when it comes to food. You're sort of gonna have to manage on your well, own. I'm, the, the, you know I'm what? guessing uh, the, the hotel we're staying at, or the resort we're staying at, will have a free continent. Con- con- constitution. Con- 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 constitution of breakfast? No, continent. Continent of breakfast, so I'm just gonna worry about the dungeon dinner. Um, yeah, you, you assume that, and then when you get there, that's not the case. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, whatever. Oh, we got rations. <laughs> Um, oh, that's right, you have more actually. We sure do, a um, lot from the Feywild. Also, um, as, as a um, 
the argument that is uh, made uh, by uh, Indominus Chris might send to you as a letter for what expenses are going to be covered. It's simple. It just says, you're a druid, uh, Goodberry is a first level spell. Fuck you. <laughs> of course you're going to say that out loud. Well, it's in a letter, so I did say yeah. it out loud. Yeah. And I did not prepare Goodberry so okay. as a spell. Oh, fine. So it's taken you six days to, uh, to uh, buy boats to get there, so I'm going to need both of you to take off six rations. Okay. I got 20. Wait, 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 20. I had one of my packs came with a bunch of rations. You had your? Huh? You had your pass? Sorry? It's your pack. One of my packs and my equipment from. Yes. Came with a bunch of rations? Yes, that's correct. Is there any bottom? Um, I'll have to say here. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone's at the door doorbell. Yeah. Hello. Hey, sorry, Mike. Very good. We're just we're basically just starting. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, um, yeah, I I, 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 I kind of expected that anyway. <laughs> give give him his character sheet. There you go. Um, um, before the game, we were. Um, we were not certain, and we and I think it might be good to check. Uh, what pronouns do you use? Um, I can go by here there. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, so, uh, beach episode, you just got most of your expenses to be covered by the school because you're investigating a, a faction that is neighboring. Potential threat. Yeah, potential threat to Candle Keep. Um, so you have, uh, so your travels to the Elven Isles and lodging. your lodging are paid for, but not your food. Uh, the reason given is that you have a droid in your party, and Goodberry is a first level step. Which I didn't prepare. So, well, the first day, um, so you got to take off six rations off of your character sheet, unless if your character was procuring food during the boat trip. Mm. Um, right now, everybody is sort of at the beach. Uh, we, um, La Raza is, um, La Raza is, is uh, looking for mollusks and crabs to eat and failed his check, so no, no food is uh, acquired. And, at least for that day. <laughs> yeah, at least for that day. And Rot is, um, looking for fossils and finding fishes. Uh, in the waters. What is Gazari's twin? Um, let's see. So, oh yeah, so, so they basically didn't give us a food budget. That's right. <laughs> I mean, we, we got over like 300, 200 pieces of gold. We, at least. What? I have 856 I got, pieces. I have 300 because I bought the boots. Oh yeah, you bought a bunch of really expensive magical items. Yes, but that, that, uh, no, I'm basically si- silent on any terrain. Even that's if it's a puddle of water, I'm silent. That's why you failed all of your checks for mollusks, right? No. I just felt because I'm not, I'm not a very good survival. I don't have a very good survival. <laughs> Apparently. Um, Carrie. I actually have four survival. I probably should have been looking for mollusks. I mean, you, you can. Yeah. You still can. I, I was going to ask what your character would be doing at sort of like the high point of this um, mm. trip. Yeah, I, I, I would be looking... Yeah, I could... Hey, you can find fish too. Wait, you're an artificer. Uh, you could like probably like... A pretty cool fishing net line. Or, fishing line or, like or like a grill to cook whatever we find. Well, I mean, with druid crafts, I can light a fire pretty easily. Um, um, 
Yes, I suppose I shall craft myself a, um, some fishing equipment to help with uh, finding seafood. That's right, you have the right tool for the, right, for the job, so you can make uh, your own, uh, you can make your own basic equipment. So fishing tools are, uh, uh, fishing uh, uh, stuff is actually uh, uh, in one of those things, so you are able to roll survival with it, uh, and uh, instead of wisdom I'm going to allow you to use your uh, proficiency and intelligence modifier. And my intelligence modifier. Yes. Instead of survival. What was the passive wisdom again? Perception? Hmm? What was this for again? Oh wait, so passive per- percent? My, my proficiency bonus and my intelligence modifier. Yes. Oh, that's going to be the same as if I just did survival. Oh, okay. Yeah, because my, my intelligence modifier is 2 and my proficiency bonus is 2 and my survival is 4. The he already has... Yeah. Okay, so just roll with a plus 4. Yeah. Yeah, this is the same either way. Let's see. Uh, twelve. Uh, excellent. You are able to provide everyone with uh, food for half of those days. So okay. you all uh, so for that day uh, when you're at the beach. Okay. Okay. So. Does it get the kit or just provides food? Uh, he he can make the kit without making a single roll. He gets oh. the like he, he's able to just make equipment. Got it. Um, as an artificer. Oh, the right tool is the job. Yes, mm-hmm. that's a that's a class feature. Right. So, here. your characters are um, uh, like pretty much uh, chilling on the beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what do you want your characters to be doing throughout that day? You don't know exactly when the meeting is supposed to happen. It wasn't very specific. You're just here and waiting for, uh, and you're basically at the beach of um, uh, of that uh, mi- uh, village that's called the Karu village. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming magic works at the university again. Yes, we've had a flash forward. Uh, we're gonna assume that everything went well with the combat. And oh, yeah, then everybody survived. Yeah, a big hard pause from everything that we did last Yes. Okay. Um. So, hmm. Simon, let me clarify. He's able to provide food for half of the days that will be no, at for the beach. That day. No, for that day. For Just that day. That yeah. day. I changed. I changed my mind. So half of the food for that day. No, full, full food, full food for that day. So we're not gonna waste money to buy for that day. Yeah. yeah. Or rations. Or rations. Like this whole time, like eating rations is not pleasant. They're they're like uh, they're like protein bars. Yeah. They're like nasty protein bars. I'm like I but know without the, without what the we're sugar. into like those long lasting rations like that one's that modern are. times. Um, yeah. Especially those fallout. Fallout rations that they put on the bunkers. Further back, I know about some that go further back. Oh god. Oh, the military ones. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So. This is like lard and peanuts. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Carry on. Uh, uh, actually, it's uh, it's your turn. You take it away uh, uh, from here, and you tell me what's happening for the rest of the day. Oh. Uh, so, is it sunsetting? Hmm? Is it sunsetting? I think it's um, midday. No, I think I think this is probably like uh, uh, in the morning. You 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 woken up from uh, the tavern in which you're staying, and uh, oh, you're staying in the tavern. Yes. All right, that's a mushroom. Um, I'm going to spend some coin on. Uh, on uh, drinks to have with the fish we've caught and or like some of it's setting up to like dry and stuff for like later in the day 
so you have uh, so the, the the tavern sells some pretty like moderately expensive drinks uh, and you have some really like luxurious ones that have some titles like uh, sunset on the beach uh, that cost uh, like the, the most of them are as like long as one it's not gold. sunset roast cocktail most most of them are like one gold but then there's uh, the uh, the one called the unicorn of the isles that it, that costs 50 gold pieces I have 858 gold. I can spend it on a nice bottle of wine. I don't know how fast we're going to go through it, but... Um, that's that's good. tiny, so... <laughs> uh, uh, as, as you inquire about the wine, uh, you see the server says, Oh, yes! Um, and you see that he picks up a, a like a lever um, list of wine and says uh, we have uh, everything from uh, rare dwarven wines, as, as Monsieur uh, probably knows, they prefer ale, but uh, the alcohol, uh, their alcohol makers have dabbled in other things. Um, so that's that sort of on, on the less expensive end. And then we have uh, we have uh, uh, eight, like ancient wines from Baldur's Gate and uh, uh, like the the, the grape vines of uh, the the Rolo vineyards. Um, you have uh, so like he, he keeps going down the list, and then you like you have some, and then we have this variety of uh, mystery wines that have been excavated from dungeons long abandoned um, and so you never really know what you're going to get because those ancient bottles have just never been opened and those are uh, one sil silver piece uh, per, per bottle. Um, you know what, I think I will go for, what was it, the, the unicorn? Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, um, and I'll try three of the mystery for later. Three it of the mystery ones? Excellent. I was going to say, let's try the mystery. So, um, uh, let me see. Like, like I, I imagine there's potentially something interesting there. <laughs> absolutely. And I figure if it's only going to be like one silver piece each. Oh, God. Do you know the conversion rate? Uh, um, it's, it's, it's a it's ten a, to one for most common denominations. Yeah, all uh, for all of the ones that we're gonna use, we're not gonna use. Uh, I, I think it's a hundred silver pieces makes one gold piece. Right, ten. Ten gold. Ten. Piece. Yeah. Ten, ten pieces silver gold. pieces make one gold piece, and ten copper pieces make one silver piece. Oh, okay. So, so it's a ten to one. Yeah. Think of a silver piece like a dime, and a okay. copper piece like a penny. So we need a hundred ten. A hundred copper pieces. Piece is a dollar though. Mm -hmm. Or a second to be a second to be a dollar a dollar quarter a uh, dollar coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing the platinum are just like a hundred hundred of those. <laughs> that would I platinum's ten again, so that would be like a ten dollar coin. So you get yourself this. Uh, 50 gold pieces uh, cocktail. Uh, it's going to be served in a tall glass that you see has like intricate designs. When you look more closely at it, it's the whole uh, major events and history of those of, uh, of those islands uh, depicted in fine details. And um, uh, inside of the uh, like uh, after doing like a lot of like shaking and mixing different ingredients. The final result is this sort of uh, rainbowy um, uh, swirling drink that is divided into uh, multiple layers for the colors of the rainbow. Um, but it's, it stops at uh, orange and then it's this uh, silvery whipped cream uh, that uh, and and sort of like a little bit of magical fumes coming out of it 
uh, um, that sort of smell like cotton candy, and in the and uh, you can hear every time that you take a sip the the sound of a uh, horse or unicorn whining uh, off in the distance. Um, so it looks you, kind of like a rainbow shot. A rainbow shot. So yeah. Yeah. I think I know what you're saying. I'm not that good with alcohol with the alcohols. Sounds like Yeah. About to have a good night. Um yeah, usually how those work is the uh, the different colored mixers are different densities. Right. So like um so like they'll stay separated until you start drinking it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. It's all it's all good. Um, cool. As as you as you take the the drink and the three bottles in in your hands, I imagine you can put them in your backpack. Uh, there's a uh, dragonborn uh, uh, on the other side of the bar that nods to you and uh, and says, "Oh, looks like you have good taste, friend." I say, well, um, I figured I would, um, I figured I would try the island's finest since I'm here. Oh, well, I have half a mind to try it myself, but mm, I don't think, I don't think I can uh, uh, afford one. I'll, I'll take one of the mystery bottles too, please. Um, and uh, you see that, like, they're, they're all kept in those, like, dusty crates. Uh, seemingly on purpose so that they still have this layer of uh, old grime and uh, dust on it. And they're all sealed. Uh, those who didn't... Actually, can I do a history check on them? Because <laughs> I I am also the sort of person who would potentially be suspicious as to the providence of supposed ancient wine that's very conspicuously, you know, yeah. made to look old. I would like to clarify that you already bought three bottles, though. So yes. maybe do your history check specifically on those three bottles. Like yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Especially uh, if they might have magical. Would, would they have magical? We're about um, to find out. I mean, the drink has minor magical properties. <laughs> uh, let's hopefully go wrong. Oh, uh, let's see. With. History that comes out to seventeen. Okay, so the signs are kind of like hard to read. Uh, some labels have just like uh, uh, are still uh, on the first two two bottles. The the labels are still present, but the paper is the only thing that remains. The ink having sort of dried away. You need to sort of like uh, uh, use sort of charcoal uh, to find the. The, the imprint uh, of the stamp on the bottle to, to sort of see the, the labels. You're able to, to uh, uh, trace back the first two to um, uh, the old magical empire. Um, uh, let me find, let me look it up real quick. Uh, that had sort of like flying cities that long ago sort of collapsed in a magical disaster uh, uh, over the lands of Faerun, and those two seem um, legit. Uh, like those two. It uh, the last the last one just has uh, uh, no labels on it. It it seems to have been made in a time where uh, glass blowing was not like uh, a refined art at all, uh, or that it's been like melted by something extremely powerful since it was uh, done. The seal on it seems to be much more recent. Uh, and you can't the, this like a spider yeah. The seal is much more recent. Yeah, so, 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 like, the first two are definitely legit, the other, maybe? Although, it's entirely possible, like, people getting stuff from random dungeons are going to get stuff from a very wide range of time periods. Like, 
you know, some of it might be like just barely a hundred years old, and other stuff might be like, you know, thousands of years old. Yeah, if you're like spraying and collecting the lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, they're going in for treasure and it's like, oh, a wine bottle. Alright, Harry, what's going on as you drink this drink? I gotta know. What's it taste like? Um. You return. Oh, Neferil is the name of that old empire, a magic empire that had flying cities, which always seems to go well in the end. <laughs> uh, and uh, I am now actually thinking about the Ports of Call book that I got recently because the planet of giants having flying cities is a major plot point. Uh, oh, and you are in the Moonshade Isles. Uh, that's uh, Moonshade. Moonshade. S H A E. S H A E. Uh, -E. Uh, the kingdom is called the United Moonshade Isles. Are we gonna run into some lunatics? Hmm? Are we gonna run into some lunatics? You never know. I mean, there's lunatics everywhere. Um. I'm going to say that the providence of uh, of the bottles looks pretty legitimate. Um, I mean, I don't know the timeline here, so I don't know, like, if the other bottle looks like it was sealed more recently, what that would... Like, I don't know enough of the official D&D lore to know what that would mean. Like, I don't know if those cities fell, like, a hundred years ago, or a thousand, or ten thousand. Or... Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty ancient. That's where, like, a lot of the magical dungeons uh, in the lore sort of come from. It's, like, ruins from the old empire. Okay, okay. So they are, like, the ancient empire. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. So those, the, the two bottles, if they're the legit... So, so, so I would, so it would be a rational expectation, even if this other one was old, that it would be younger than those other bottles, probably. Unless it was, like, really old. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of, like, lost knowledge that was lost, so maybe glass blowing was, like, took a few uh, decades back when this empire fell. Or yeah, yeah. glass blowing just started. Yeah. Or, like, they didn't have good glass blowing facilities for a while afterwards. Yeah. Like, even if they knew how to blow glass, like, if they don't have good tools and the infrastructure to make good tools, they're not going to be able to make good glass blowing. Yeah, it kind of, whenever he described it to me, it kind of, like, reminded me of old glass bottles that you find that are, you can tell that they were molded, that, mm -hmm. like, the glass was poured into molds and then put together because they didn't have the same type of, like, Blowing ability, so it's it's like crudely crafted glass, but the like newer seal I think is really important because what that means to me is that this is a bottle that has been like repurposed and something has been put into it. Yeah, and not its original content. Mm. Um, do you return to the beach to drink your your drink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna bring some straws for the other two to try it out. Ooh, you're sharing. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, I think I'm so, uh, as, as you are, uh, sharing, you're, you're gonna hear three different, uh, uh unicorns, uh, neighing in the background together as, as you take in the, the, the different, <laughs> different liquids. Um, so each... Uh, uh, each stage of alcohol, um, they they subtly flow from one to the next. Uh, some of those stages are sour, uh, um, some are more sweet. Uh, as oh, as sweet. and as you do, like each uh, level sort of, sort of like makes you feel a different type of drunk. Like when when you hit the bottom one, uh, that's like completely orange. You just feel like you want to dance. You want to stop drinking and like dance a little bit, and then come back to the drink. Um, and then you're like, oh, you want you like the um, uh, all the way to the to to the like pink one that makes you want to like um, uh, try to be flirty if that's your thing. 
Um, okay. Well, mine has that. My character has an insatiable. What was it? An insatiable desire for carnal pleasure. <laughs> an insatiable desire for carnal pleasure. Is, what? Is that one of your traits? <laughs> it's my one of my. One of my well, I, I, yeah, because he's a noble. He's uh, uh, a big flirt. <laughs> oh, you. That that explains all the lever. It's not because you're a rogue. <laughs> the dark lever. It, you can use it by you can use it by day to be a rogue, and then by night for some kinky stuff. That's hilarious. Uh, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah. So we're all back at the beach. What? what? Wait, Damien purchased a gift mask. No, I had uh, my, my from the um, Elder Chadet. Mm. Oh! 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 So, uh, I technically have the the mask. <laughs> oh. God, that's that's the that's the symbol of your pack. It's a lever mask that allows you to change faces. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I I thought we were talking you know, about what Damien had just purchased. Well, one of those abandoned masks. <laughs> just change his face. Oh my god. So, like, <laughs> in in character, how would you or how would your characters sort of like take in this whole experience? Taking these holy spirits. When we're dancing now, right now. Yeah, are we are we in orange? Are we where are we green at? Green. Well, I, I I think you start at orange. Orange. Okay. Can we get some dancing music? Some beachy dancing music. Like. I don't think there's any. Like hula or some drum circles. Let's see. Not from here. Okay. No, I, I don't think so. You can you can sort of have. Um... You okay? Where'd you get this, man? This stuff is uh, awesome. I feel like you can type dance, and there'll probably be a. What do you guys feel about a fire? Should I light a fire? Ooh, I want to yes, light a fire. Yes, you should. Cool. We can cook some of the some of the fish we got. Can trip. To light the fire? Yeah, druid craft to light the fire. Oh yeah, hey. So you uh like created a few sparks on the twigs with your with your magic uh it, it spread over to the uh, to the logs. And yeah, you're you've got you've got a nice yeah. little beach fire going on. Cool, okay. That's it. Yeah. Can I do it again to pull on a nice breeze? Yeah. Through a pool and a very nice breeze. It's a cancer. <laughs> so what did we have some fish? Is that right? And did we get some? No muscles. Okay. No. Well, I'm, I'm guessing you got a variety of seafood. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got a different, uh, 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 a variety of different things, and uh, one of those is actually going to be uh, a baby shark. So, which means that now that you've s- yet, like you saw it before it was killed, you, as as a druid you'll be able to 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 transform as an adult shark because you're very, he he rolled really well on his survival. So yeah, you have like five di- five different fishes, and the big bigger one is the is the baby shark. But baby enough shark do 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 baby shark do do. Okay. So yeah, the the second flavor yellow just makes you like. Hung like hungry drunk, uh, uh, and it's around this time you realize that the sun has baked the, the fish that you had set out, and uh, yeah. Can I? I wanna. I really wanna go look and see if I can find like some potatoes or some onions or something in the grass and the trees around. To see if I can. Are there any food out. stalls? There, there are food stalls. This village is like very. Uh, touristy, so it's got it, it like it's got a, a, a thriving like import of. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm really digging the like, the, like let's do it ourselves. I, I want to try and forage for some veggies. Roll survival. I rolled a sixteen and I have four for survival, so that's a twenty. Nice. Uh, you are able to find some fungus. You are able to find some uh, coconuts that are hanging off of pine trees. Uh, again, this used to be 
this like cold area and the, and magically the weather has sort of turned tropical in the past 50 years and the the animals are sort of like and and fauna has also slowly shifted toward this so so you have like squirrels that that have grown to look a little bit more like monkeys now oh interesting yeah. okay so i find some there are actually various floras that include in our feast okay i'm gonna barbecue it up uh purpose mm -hmm. So we're in hungry state? Yeah. Okay, uh, yes. I guess I'd go one off looking at, at see what the food stalls have. Yeah. Uh, you you look around, there's no roll needed. Um, you've got all of those strange exotic fruits, uh, mangoes, papayas, mm -hmm. uh, and you see that like there's uh, there's a um, uh, like Apples that are like halfway magically mutated. So the bottom is a pineapple, but the top is this large red apple. And they're selling they're selling those as is a like, pineapple. Yeah, it's, <laughs> a hard a hard apple. Um, and so like they're they're selling those as like oddities that only exist in the Moonshade Isles and that have like popped up. Uh, uh, it's like the fruit merchant and it's gonna say these have been like popped up in the past 50 years and every year the apples start to look more like pineapples so you never eat uh, one of those uh, apple pineapples the the same way because every time it, like if you come so, back next so year it's turn into an actual pineapple yeah if you come back next year like right now they are halfway through but if you come back next year there, there will be a little bit more pineapple so it's a unique experience every time you you have one so that's why they're uh, one gold piece each you know what i'll get one for each okay here you go sir um, oh, that's three gold pieces uh ooh. I uh, I can also uh, uh, maybe I can also interest you in this uh, dragon fruit that uh, grew out of mushrooms. Interesting. How much is that? Go ahead. A dragon fruit that grew out of mushrooms. I, have an I mean, I uh, I also. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I'm the kind of person that like knows enough about like weird looking fungi. I'm like. I also know enough about our game master to know that he's probably using a play on words right now. Dragon fruit. <laughs> dragon fruit. What do you think? You want to do an in quick insight on that if we can? Just make sure yep. we, how it is. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go ahead and re roll an insight. Because I got a plus three and a half. So, is my concentration on his guidance still going? It said up to ten minutes. Uh, uh, you can uh, you can have cast it again since the last time, so yeah. You... So, what was it? Add a d4. Add a d4. Yeah. Is this seven? <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus three, thirteen. 13. Okay, you can you can tell like he's upselling his wares, right? <laughs> he li literally th those grow on trees here. So the fact that the the dragon fruit mushrooms are like five silver and the the like apples are one gold means he's making like mucho money. Um, you notice that. You notice that uh, quite a few people avoid, like, avoid in the time that you're there, nobody buys a single dragon fruit mushroom. Uh, you think that they're pretty bad. Uh, hashtag bad dragon. Don't, <laughs> don't Google it. It was not. <laughs> Oh my I, I didn't, especially if I, I since I actually own a few of those listen, products. I I improved the whole thing. You you dared yeah, like you were like oh yeah it's a pun and I was like challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. it's bad dragon fruit. Bad. Oh. Bad dragon. I'm gonna have to Google that later. <laughs> 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 While I'm uh, at home, definitely. Yeah. 
definitely at home. Alone. <laughs> yes. Put bad slash drive in. Alright, alright. I got the tips and writing it down. Okay. Then now I avoid seeing, oh seeing, seeing everybody else I'm, avoiding them. I avoid them as well. I, I, I hope my children never watch those. Um, when when I have them, but, but like we're like fifty different, like we're at twenty different uh, uh, adventures and campaigns that I've recorded on the same channel. So they would need to be like really invested to to be at this episode. Uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah. So I avoid them as well. Like no, thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, so you take off three gold from yeah. your. I already did. Hey, any well, other? Any other? Good stands? Uh, yes, you have some exotic mix, meats being sold. Uh, one of the one of the merchants even has like full charcuterie boards uh, covered in elven silks to protect them from. Uh, and uh, are these actual shark cutie boards? <laughs> shark cutie boards? I'm not always doing puns, okay? <laughs> shark <laughs> oh my god. They're smoked meats with some nice <laughs> cheeses and uh, grapes that are um, just grapes. They got them from the mainland. Just grapes? Yeah. Just Why do you say it like that? I hate it when you say it like that. <laughs> So yeah, you. Okay. Um. You you, I, you you also have this like ginormous stand that's just a bunch of uh like uh um, you've got wind chimes that are both like elven style, so like with silvery colors and like intricate designs, and also next to them like uh um. Wood chimes that are uh, more evocative of like traditional uh, uh, tropical weathers and uh, uh, things like this. You uh, you have um, robes, uh, elven robes, and, but also um, you know like uh, uh, swimsuits that are being uh, that are being sold in the same shop. A bunch of snow globes. Uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of like mini paintings that somehow have been like replicated to be the exact same image. That the tourist show, trap. Like the the. Um, <laughs> On coffee notes, shot glasses. The, the like the, the 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 most beautiful spots in the moonshade aisle. So you have the the river of uh, stuff like. The river of star water, you have uh, the statues of the elders that are those like massive statues overgrown with lichen and uh, mushrooms, that sort of stuff. And the beach that you're at seems to be a uh, like have its own like little pictures, right? Yeah, so it's basically a basic, basic gift shop, yeah. Yes, okay, and I just passed this right up entirely. Not falling for the tourist trap. Oh, I you can tell that I'm left You, there. sir, you, sir. Oh, you look, you look like uh, uh, an adventurer on, on vacation. Can I interest you maybe in some magical items? I have minor potions of healing uh, for 50 gold pieces. But if you're looking to relax, I have this flute that plays itself constantly with different melodies that are fitting for the mood. Uh, yeah, it's a bit occasion. annoying if it keeps playing constantly. Uh, there, there, uh, there is a way to turn it off. It has, uh, it has a password, but you can only turn it off uh, um, if, if you, if you uh, turn it off uh, and you turn it back on. Uh, it will, it will just play uh, um, not a music, but it will be my voice saying, hey, "Remember to come to uh, the gift shop of." Nerara, when you return to the Moonshade Isles, <laughs> that uh, the awful. best, the best gift shop in the Moonshade Isles, and you can avoid the uh, ads if you never turn it off. <laughs> no, thank you. Can I, can I maybe interest you in uh, uh, some uh, 
mermaid tears. Uh, they they glow in they glow in the dark, and if you put those uh, uh, as eye drops, they will give you dark vision for one minute. No, thank you. <laughs> I have, I'm interested. <laughs> it's five gold pieces. It's a bargain. Wouldn't you want to be able to see in the dark, just like? But we we got someone that could see in the dark for us. <laughs> As long as she rolls good on as long as she rolls good. <laughs> yeah, as long as they roll good on their perception checks. <laughs> Gotta roll that dice. No, thank you. Uh, Alright, uh, have a good day. You see that uh she turns over to this uh dwarf that's like clanking behind you and says, Oh you you look like an adventurer who's in in need uh, uh who, who who has good taste uh here I have magical items to sell from all over the Moonshe Isles. Oh would you be interested in a a um uh, uh, a protection for your beard. Uh, uh, this elven thing. <laughs> this elven. <laughs> this is a very serious product. Stop, stop laughing. Uh, those elven veils will uh, pr- uh, stop food crumbs and dust from getting in your beard. And like you hear the dwarf just saying, the food cr- uh, the, the food crumbs is where I get my nourishment. <laughs> Why does this sound like? Okay, and I continue on and take whatever I bought and show it for my cool. team. Okay. So you you add even more stuff uh, to uh, your to a drunken affair. Yeah, exactly to your your drunken pile of food. Carrie, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Um. Well, I'm going. Let's see, we got fruits and. I guess some mushrooms and. Was it just. Mushrooms and. No no mushrooms, he didn't buy any of the mushrooms. He no. got. He got pineapple. Oh, yes, you got the, the mushrooms. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. mushrooms and fish and the pine. apple pine. pineapple. Yes. Hybrid fruity. Like a thing. Um. I mean, I was figuring it would be something like... Mushrooms, wild onions, potatoes... A seafood mushroom... Probably, probably... Yeah, yeah. Because he says it's like a cold region that's like moving towards a tropical region, so it's like... Some of these older plants are just kind of like. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bunch of meat. It's been it's been magically altered to slowly look more like a tropical landscape. Um, mm. and like, but but like out of nobody decided to have this happen. It's just the, the Munshe Isles. Every edition of Dungeons and Dragons, they have something weird and very different happening to them, uh, and. Um, they uh, last edition they just vanished from for like fifty years uh, out of existence. Nobody could f- could get there. So <laughs> oh, this- so lower right? Is it actually lower right? Did they disappear? Yes, that's oh, okay. that's uh, that's the lore as I remember it. Don't so fourth edition they were gone. Yeah, they were just. Oh. We're back, baby. We're back. We're back, baby. Um, I I mean I'm going to try to um take. The fish and the various items, and make some dishes for all of us. Hell yes. Um, so you're able to make chef's utensils uh, mm-hmm. uh, from your, your uh, uh, the right tool for the job. I if if you don't have proficiency with it, it's just going to be a um, let's see. I want to say dexterity. Ooh. No, uh, I think I think wisdom, wisdom, because your your sense of taste as as, as you're trying things out and you're into for that. Uh, chef's tools. It's a tool proficiency, just like uh, uh, yeah, just right just like for the job. yeah. So he's able to make them, but that doesn't give him proficiency in those uh, tools. Okay. Yeah. So I am gonna be still feeling this dancey vibe, especially with this song that we have on right now. And yeah. I'm going to be dancing around, and I'm going to tap on Zara's shoulder when I pass him, and cast Guidance on him. Okay. 
So that's another 1d4. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that d4. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I do not have it. Can I be assistant helping him? You can help. I, 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 I did not do a good job with the chef's tools. You keep the d4 that you, uh, you, you keep the d4 that you rolled in the previous roll, but you can roll again because uh, the rosé gives you advantage. Okay, um, so that's going to be twelve. Yeah. Uh, total. Again. Wait, what? What was the other check? That was it. Just, just the wis- uh, just wisdom modifier. Yeah, I, I have like none for my wisdom modifier, so it's just whatever I roll. Okay. Oh, I rolled cool. a ten and and a two. Cool. Um, you, uh, yeah. Which you, is better than my dexterity, which is minus one. <laughs> um, definitely, you're able to blend together the the aromas. This is your first time using those very degree ingredients that are pretty exotic. So it's not like this uh, 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 this amazing thing that you would get from the tavern with experience cups, but it's uh, uh, it's very like it's so much better than the rations you've been eating recently. So in mm-hmm. the dragon state, we don't yeah. care as long as not the rations. Uh, y- y'all are uh, sort of in, uh, uh, enjoying yourselves, starting to to really dig in um, and uh, appease the. Uh, the alcohol that you have, if you don't sort of like go with the vibe that it's pushing you towards, it sort of like fades away pretty quickly. But since y'all were looking for food, it's it's still going strong. You still have this like uh, drunken hunger, uh, and um, you're going to see uh, a, a sort of like bugbear, barbear, uh, uh, um, like bugbear, just wearing uh, um, just a swim swim trunks come over and uh, says, uh, Hello, I, I saw all of you were uh, scavenging. Um, that looks mighty yummy, but uh, I, I, I think you might want some herbs and spices with that. Uh, do, would you mind sharing a, a meal? Uh, if I, uh, I, I scavenged a few earlier, for, uh, but I couldn't find any meat. Yes, yes, join us, join us. Yeah, I can uh, get in here, man. Uh, uh, thank mm. you so much. Uh, um, all right, so you see that like he takes out uh, a bag that he was carrying with him. And he has a little pouch of uh, herbs that he's going to uh, uh, add to to what you have, like f- giving the the, the final Garnish. touches. Um, you... We're awfully trusting. Yeah. Um, uh, anyone who wants can make a nature check to sort of like double check those uh, herbs and spices. But as uh, but. He digs in. Dirty 20. 18. Oh yeah, I rolled a 24. And uh, dirty 20 as well. Okay, dirt, uh, uh... All of us roll 20s. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, extremely nice. No, those are legit some good spices, and you see that he, he tries the different foods before he spices them up to, uh, um... Gauge. Yeah, gauge. And... You're you're each able, like, thanks to your twenty, to be like, oh, maybe a little bit more of that. So you end up with this really good uh, uh, feast. I'm uh, eating my cake today. He, 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 he digs into the to the shark flesh and says, oh, this is so good. Uh, thank you. I whew, uh, uh, having a ask nice. Him if I can have some of his spices, and I'm gonna take the fruits and make a smoothie for everybody. Oh, excellent! How are you gonna uh, uh, blend it all together? I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle, I guess. Uh, you know how to blender. Oh, nice! Oh, Can you Sarah's, make could you okay. make me a blender? Blender type thing? Um, I'm trying to think if that's like an a medieval juicer. I would definitely allow a blender. You, I would. A medieval juicer. Give it to me. A medieval juicer. What is the other roll? Nothing. The right tool for the job. Is able nice. To, to make okay, things. so yeah. I'm gonna use the juicer. I'm gonna I mean, I could roll Arcana to attempt to craft. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, go ahead and see if you make a full blender. And if he fails, it's just a medieval one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six. Oh, that's another dirty twenty. <laughs> you make. 
you invent in theory <laughs> the first ever uh, uh, magic powered blender. You have to spend a spell slot of first level to, to be able to, to blend some things. And if you use a second level spell slot, you can use it as a weapon. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it probably also counts as a weapon if you fail your check to use it properly. Question. <laughs> Question. Can we cast something on the blender to imbue into the drink? So, like, let's say I cast Charm Person, and that's my first level spell slot. Does the drink take on those characteristics? Yes. Ooh. I, I think you just made yourself a very powerful <laughs> weapon. I, I mean, mean if, if at you, the very at, 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 I no, I will I will allow that to be cast this one time. Oh, no, it's not as special. <laughs> you, 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 you were trying to be sneaky and creative about it. I was. <laughs> I I I, 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 know, I, I know what you just I know what you just suggested when you were like oh yeah long term mm -mm. you he didn't roll a natural twenty he rolled a dirty twenty I, I, that's all I'm willing to give you for yeah that. yeah no 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 I I I, I, I mean at the very least this is a this this is a a, a nice little thing to hopefully bring back to Campbell Keith um and also maybe like. You know, some goodwill with the artificer department as well. Write it in your inventory. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I didn't intrude myself. I'm Grazan. Grazan. Yes, yes. I'm uh, Zarez. I'm Rot. Zarez. Oh, it's it's mighty nice to meet all of you. What brings you here to the islands, friend? Oh. Just, uh, uh, just working a job for my, uh, boss. I'm here with, uh, a couple, uh, the rest of my adventuring party. Uh, adventuring party? Yeah! Cool, cool. That's, in, that's very interesting. Tackled any famous dungeons recently? Oh, no, no, no. We, we're just starting. We haven't found any maps to any dungeons or, or heard rumors of stuff like that. Where this is this is actually like our second uh, job on the field. Ah, ah. Mm. Uh, party okay. recent. Yes. We've uh, we've been uh, we we've been working uh, the past few months for a local um, magical school. Not local. It's for like six days away. Oh, yeah. nice. Uh, how'd you like it so far? Uh, it's 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 steady work. Uh, some of the faculty and staff were a bit interesting, They're but eccentric. that's probably what you would expect for that sort of oh, institution. Same more like eccentric. Anyone I should be on the lookout for? Ah, uh, not even here. I <laughs> doubt it. Well, you know, our 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 what what is it the office oh. factor? The no, 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 no. Chanting teacher. Um, the enchantment teacher. <laughs> the enchantment. The, the enchantment white teacher. Paws. Can, yeah. This uh, white paws. Um. Well, the enchantment teacher is very susceptible to flattery. <laughs> oh. Okay. So there's an easy out. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 My. Well, what prefer you have today? <laughs> exactly. No. No. I was thinking of. Um, Accountant. Accountant? Treasurer. Treasurer. Treasure. Oh, the, the, oh. Yes, yes. Oh, our, our, our treasure is an actual dragon. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. So, um. Um, well, can I? You want to go dance with me, Kazaris? Yeah. Maybe we should, I'm like, I'm not feeling the hungry vibe anymore. I'm like. Okay. What's the next thing? In the, uh, the the next thing is green. Uh, and well, he was like, "Who should I look out for? The actual dragon." This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, could be a bit chilly. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh! I just don't know how much we should be sharing with a stranger. I mean, I presume, I presume an actual dragon are... is not too big a secret. 
But we didn't know until like our second or third day of work. As, as you drink the next layer, the green, you feel this... Uh, um, you feel like the sounds around you are amplified and uh, in the distance you hear the music that is played in the tavern by uh, a, uh, like a group of uh, uh, musicians and you have this like uh, uh, this tune that's in the back of your mind like you know the you feel like you can know the like you know the words of that song already and um, like you begin to tap your foot you start to feel like it's time for karaoke. Oh man. Does anybody know any good tunes we can sing? Anybody got any musical instruments? Oh, oh, um Donatar, he can he can play some uh he has minor illusion. He can he can uh play some music. Do you want me to go and grab him? Uh, I can cast minor illusion as well. <laughs> Oh, excellent! So you guys can have a full band. Where are you guys hanging out? What do you guys got going oh, on over there? Oh, there. Um, uh, I'll go and uh, you see. He turns around and you see uh, a group of three individuals that are sort of like sunbathing uh, a little bit farther down the beach. Uh, you've got the dwarf in full metal armor. Uh, Is the same dwarf that was behind me at the gift shop. Yeah, the red dragonborn. Uh, who who was uh, uh, a little bit flirting with uh, I think it was Kazaris yeah mm-hmm. Kazaris and uh, you see a um, uh, a tiefling in a um, like a full uh, bathing suit. So tieflings are basically uh, humanoids. Uh, she has purple skin and a sort of curved horns. Ooh, pretty. I play a tiefling tonight. Mm, they seem so, like an interesting lot. They do. So we're walking up to them. Cool. Are we? Are we going to walk up to them? Sure. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's go hang out. Yes. Should we take the rest of the food? Bring, 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 bring some of the... Bring the food. Yeah, bring food. Grozan, Grozan, sort of like, uh, uh, like leads you towards them, and uh, as y'all are coming over, you uh, you see that like Grozan is sort of like, hey guys, hey, uh, shakes his hand, head, and like, um, uh, I need everyone to make a perception check. Oh okay. boy, perception plus one. Oh, I rolled a nat 20. It's an 18. Uh, nat 20? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You notice that the, like, uh, uh, the, the tiefling notices you coming first, turns around to the others, and, like, turns away from you, but you see that her lips are moving already before she fully turns away, and the other two, like, turn their, turn their heads, and then, like, uh, on the dwarf, there's this expression of like frustration for a moment before uh, uh, before he turns around. They talk real quick and then they turn back and they're all like smiling and hey, uh, uh, don't be Gros- suspicious. Grozan, uh, who, uh, uh, who are your friends? Hey, uh, hey, hey, I'm Rod. Uh, Rod, I'm, I'm, I'm Zaraz Laraza. I'm uh, Makaria. Uh, I'm I'm the I'm the tiefling rogue uh, uh, of our group. Uh, oh, nice! Reaches out her her hand. Um, Makes me another fellow rogue. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the w- uh, wizard says, "Hi, I'm Donatar. It's it's uh, nice to see all of you." And he extends his hand like this uh, towards you first. Hmm. You... Uh, you know, I, I'm like, oh, excellent, nice to meet you. As you reach out your hand, you see that he doesn't, like, sort of sh- uh, shifts it and uh, lands a kiss uh, on, uh, on your hand. Oh! Nice to meet you. And uh, the, the, the dwarf... Uh, who, like, as you, you're close enough to him to see that in the sunlight, the armor is 
hot and that he's he's got more red around the armor than he does from the sun and he says more green and sort of like shakes his hand and then like looks at this the like the state that he's in and starts to like Ur! take off the the helmet put it to the side i'm gonna cast a little cloud of rain over him if i could mm. or just a shadow to just put him in some shade and cool him off a bit thanks you didn't need to i i think i did you're you're looking a little lobster over there Yes, yes, it's 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 quite an unusually warm climate up here. Speaking of lobster, we have a bunch of food. Uh, uh, maybe you want to eat some. Um, yeah. like, oh, Dylan. that's lovely. It looks delicious. Thank you. We've eaten nothing but rations for for the past six days. Uh, I would love to. Same. More, Mordren, uh, uh grumbles and says, what do you want? Um, well, I figured, um, we're both, we're, you know, we're both here enjoying the, um, in, enjoying the aisles, and, um, as, you know, fellow adventurers, it would be nice to have, um, good friendly company. Wow, um, well. Yes, and we can absolutely do friendly company. You're welcome to join us. And Morgan, if you have a problem that, with that, you can go back uh, a little bit farther down the beach. Morgan is <laughs> Fine, I guess I will. And sort of just <laughs> in, in a shudder of metal gets up and uh, moves a little bit farther away from, from all of you. Morgan does not seem very pleased about your 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 current situation. So Grushan is gonna say, yeah, he's uh, on he's he's really like all about following the rules and stuff, and uh, oh, he's no. taking he's taking the mission very seriously. Hmm. Mm. The it, rules, the mission, you're not you're not here on vacation? Oh no, we're we're on and you see that like the car sort of like shoots him a glance and he, he said, Come on, we can just tell them, right? Uh we uh, we're the new security team at uh, Candlekeep. We were we were asked to uh, come and see you in action and sort of learn from you. New security team? Yeah, we were we got hired when we were on the school trip. What? Oh, oh, while we were in the Feywild? That's where you went? Yes. Nice. Yeah, we had an interesting time. Um, there was an arch fay and some satyrs and... Some promises were made. And um, when exactly are you hired to work? Oh, uh, uh, we're going to be uh, helping out with the night team. Um, Oh, Some, thank goodness. Sometimes, but... Oh, thank God for me. Yeah, because... Uh, we, from what, from what we, is nice. He's but, nice. He's nice. Yeah. He's uh, nice, but... He can he's use that. He's powerful, but he is a coward. <laughs> yeah, so, um, where... I mean... Uh, it, it seems like just three security teams for the whole school. I mean... I, uh, uh, it's a doozy. Yeah, but I hey, think now we can help each other. Think that we could maybe think about Lazarga as a security manager, <laughs> someone who's not really in there but kind of is in there. Because we have we have done most a few night shits as well. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that might be why they hired you. Is we, Damien? We, we, he's tearing open the the. The thing, so he's like he's getting to the cotton right now. Fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, that 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 does track. That does track. They um. Uh, although I am kind of, have you met Chris yet? Haven't had the chance. Um, 
Yeah. yeah. So this is this is Donatar who's going to say, um, just want to check. We heard that just before we got hired, you, I mean, they told us we were going to be the security team. Things happened. Yes, but we. Crit. Yeah. Um. We Wait, met. What you, you just told us that you were gonna be the night security team, though. Yeah, that's what we were told after you came back. Oh. oh. I think Chris, so was, you, right. Chris, Chris was, was right. not expecting us to come back. He was once not he. at all. <laughs> or he, or he was just expecting to kill us as soon as we come back. Oh, Probably. That's dark. That's or fire dark. us. Or both. Ooh, that's dark. Very dark. That's scary. Oh, uh, trust me. <laughs> you, you, don't know, you don't know scary to have a hundred, a giant ass well, ice breathing dragon. Needless to say, we came back. We and came when you're pinned against either yes. jumping into the frozen sea or being crushed. I, I, I think you're coming back in one piece at the price of a play for an archfey is a fairly good outcome, especially since apparently no one was prepared for there to be an archfey or a giant army surrounding the uh, Feywild. Yeah, hardly arrived. anybody talks about the army that was surrounding the Fey, the camp while we were in the Feywild. Sounds like all of you are heroes. Um, in a way. We yeah. definitely got everyone out okay. It 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 was nobody died. <laughs> yeah, no nobody died. died from either side. <laughs> yeah, no one we... murdered anyone. There were no murder. There or wasn't murders. a murder or murderers. That was also an interesting choice of phrasing. <laughs> I don't think I, the I, I, at, 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 at some point, I'm going to have to look up Fey logic in the in the in the library. Uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Listen, sorry about, like, no, no, I, I wasn't being very subtle. I was like, uh, anybody I should be on the lookout for? Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, uh, we, we, we played it, like, I mean, the, uh, the, this, this all very much tracks. Our, more, so, more grand, so more did, wanted to, to, So why did they send the you here? Oh, um, they, uh, um, they said, uh, yeah, just observe what the more experienced team is doing on the field, and, uh, so you'll know what to do. Uh, excellent, excellent. Wait, what were all of your classes again? We have... Oh, I'm, I'm a barbarian. I can wreck shit when I get angry. Uh, Morgan, he's a paladin. Uh, Macaria says, uh... I'm a rogue, and uh, Donatar says, uh, I can make all your magical dreams come true. Uh, I'm a wizard. Okay. What about the, what about the dwarf? Paladin. Paladin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have an artificer, a druid, and a rogue. Nice. Yeah. Good, um... Honestly, I think this rounds out the security team very nicely. Yeah, good to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they um, they just uh, tested us by uh, sending us into uh, like a wing full of mimics that had been closed off. And, oh, uh, yeah, we got out of there alive. You you just noticed that this was the one shots I I, I tried to yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when, when, when we were at work and it was really slow, uh, I, I asked the manager if I should do what we had done during the winter break, which was I would bring all of my D&D stuff. Yeah, but Drew didn't, didn't like that. Yeah. Um, Drew but, doesn't like things in general. Yeah, Drew, Drew what does Drew like? Do you, have you heard of... Like, he likes... I not cleaning his thermometer. That's what he <laughs> that, Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, he sanitizes, he dunks his thermometer into the sanitizer, but he doesn't wash it. I've got pictures, and it is nasty. 
Anyways. What kind of thermometer are we talking about? The electronic thermometers that... They're like checking meat? Yeah, mm -hmm. meat and vegetables and everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. And only the managers are allowed them because they're expensive and people kept stealing them. So uh, his is one of the few that gets used all over J2. Uh, I'm so glad I don't eat there. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, so uh, back to the game. Uh, back to the <laughs> fantasy land where... You might want to cut that netting. <laughs> So you get. We didn't finish it, so I just uh, decided what the end of that adventure had, had been. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that's, that's like a island. little less dramatic than ours. <laughs> a whole lot of less dramatic. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. What did he? What did he get? The easy job. <laughs> we got the easy job. Yeah. You didn't have to deal with the sphere of annihilation. And well, that was later on in the job. Our initial test was the classroom. No, that, that was something that just popped That wasn't up. even a test. That wasn't even a test. We, we, we had to, yeah, we had to deal with a summoning oh, god wrong. Oh, right. That was our official test was the Spear of Annihilation. Yeah, that was our official official test. Uh, what was we it? Uh, the Spear of Annihilation in the... In the classroom, and you see that uh, Macaulay. Not in the classroom. Not in the no, classroom. No, 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 no. In the in the well, school. How, yeah. How do you think the waste disposal works? How do you think the the normal way? Is there a normal? Way? Is there a normal Magical way? Waste yeah. Disposal? You put a hole that leads into the sea. That's. Quite oh, for for potions. For potions. Yeah. Yes. yes. You, you 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 expect that? Yeah. You expect the university to like just send potions out into. The sea? The ocean. Do you know what's already in the sea? <laughs> like M Macaria has taken out a notebook and and is writing down what you're what you're saying. <laughs> like, and and she says, so uh <laughs> it's, it's a, Where is the Oro Vendation? Um I'm gonna roll inside. Yeah. yeah. It's like where is the Orb of Annihilation? Hopefully nowhere you'll ever actually have to go. That place was awful. Yeah, Donatar is going to say it was horrible. Donatar is just going to say, "Oh yeah, um, she's." Uh, uh, I don't know if you all know, but th those things are legendary, uh, almost legendary items. They are very expensive and deadly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So really hard to steal. <laughs> Macaria puts like looks up, looks down, puts the notebook away. Oh, yeah, you who, do not. Oh, you, you do not want to. No, no, yeah. The, the, the <laughs> you whole, you the don't want to go near that. The, the whole and and <laughs> and and we have a it, treasure. It has a whole thing about private. thinking minds. You don't want to go near it. No, we saw somebody just get uh basically knocked out of existence. <laughs> yeah. In a pink mode, in a what we we'll consider the most painful and, and tragic. We, and we have a treasure who's a dragon. We don't oh. need we don't need to go around um, and like Makari says, hey, this I was just writing notes it, for for where the stuff that we have to protect is located. Okay, well, I feel like they should have told us that. I think the thing that everybody There's should actually... really be worried about when it comes to the sphere of annihilation is the weird sentient animals. Them sometimes that are procure. crawling out of the sewers from time to time. I mean, what? Flashback to the fight that we that we stopped at in the last episode. Flash forward again. Yeah. Oh, what? I blacked out. What happened? Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's like one of my eyes is kind of twitching. <laughs> I'm just staring up in the space, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the magical buzz that you have going on. Uh, so then, like, <laughs> like it sort of fades because you haven't like gone uh, 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 singing anytime soon. So you you find yourself feeling so, uh, almost sober again. Mm. Well, time for another sip. Let's um, have another sip. Okay. Yes. The, next color. The blue one. How about the blue one? Oh. How about mm -hmm. I take one of those mystery bottles and crack it open? Crack it open. And mix it up with some of our fresh fruits. 
Okay, okay. Um, yes. Bottle one, A, B, or C? Wait, well, we got we two go. from the Sky Floaty Empire. I forget what it's called. Nephril. Nephril, yes. Nephril. Yes, we got two from Nephril, so let's open one of those. Let's do it. And I'm going to mix it with, like, what do we got? We got... We so got pineapple, pineapple and apple. Apples mm-hmm. and berries. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's the... That, that should be nice. That should be nice. Let's give it a shot. Oh, and Let, some let's, let's, herbs. Yes. Also, what kind of wine is it? Um... Is it like a red, the, a white, a rosé? The, they're both red wines. Um, uh, and you're having a hard time deciding what is inside of the third bottle. Um, Should we open in the mystery bottle? You you open them and uh, you find that. Um, so you, uh, which one do you open? Uh, one of the one of the Nephiral ones. Okay, so one of the red wines. I rolled a twelve and a seventeen uh, for them. <laughs> so they, they taste they taste fairly good. You feel like there was a. On, on the first one you opened, there was a magic spell that was preserving its its taste for a long time but that just recently faded away. Um, so it's it's got a little little hints of vinegar uh, mm-hmm. in it, uh, but it gets you drunk really well for something that cost one silver piece. And the other one, you share it with the other group of adventurers. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the the other one. Um, uh, still has the preservation magic that keep it uh, sort of like uh, uh, yeah. aging in a way that, that is tasteful, but not to the um, uh, without any sort of vinegar to, uh, to it. Um, Wait, we give them the better tasting one? No, oh, you share both bottles mm-hmm. if that's okay. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. No. Uh, do you want to? Oh, like you're fairly drunk at this point. There's still two colors mm-hmm. left in the. Uh, in the yeah. in the cocktail, and there's one bottle left as well. Alright. Uh, well, well, I mean, like, I'm I'm presuming we just kind of like opened them mm-hmm. up to like okay, cool. share around, mm-hmm. and like, yeah. So we can try. I guess the blue is next. Yeah. So yeah. let's. We're all gonna have a sip of the blue. Cool. The blue makes like makes you feel confident. It makes you feel uh, energetic. It makes you feel like you're the best at sports and um mm. as you look around there that is, is going to go very is, badly there is a little i have a minus one in dexterity no Beach but you feel, you feel confident about what you are uh, uh, uh about <laughs> th- being able to take on the challenge uh and this is why i set up a little um Beach volleyball uh <laughs> map <laughs> ahead of time i'm just guessing <laughs> yes. i i i i uh, uh, all the tropes, all the tropes. Amazing. <laughs> so, um, you you start to like look look in this direction pretty confidently, and Macaria says, "Oh, oh, you want to play a game?" Let's play. Yes. Games. I thought like, yes. I fucking I I am so good at this game. And like Morgan uh, says, uh, "Hey, uh, just for funsies, let's allow magic." Um, that sounds interesting. Okay. Um, All right, let's do that. And uh, like, uh, uh, Grizan says, "Hey, Morgan, you wanna you wanna take part?" And Morgan is is gonna look in your direction and uh, just, I'm I'm good. And he's gonna cast bless on all three of them. Um, bless. Yeah. Bless. Oh oh. Oh goodness, oh goodness. So, can you please place where your characters would be on the, uh, map? Okay. Um, so, I think have attacks a... It's for attacks and saving throws, so it's not gonna be super useful. Location? Yes. I was just Starting thinking, location. like, we're playing beach volleyball, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the taller character should be in the front, the shorter character should be in the back. The shorter so, character is going to go for the saves. You want to go? And then there? the taller characters are going to go for the spikes. Yeah, take into account uh, class features. Uh, uh, like, your class features might affect your uh, gameplay more than your size. Yes. 
Oh the yes, box. absolutely. I, I, I was say this I, time for a break. I was gonna I was gonna suggest a break when when they revealed they were from Candlekeep and then I forgot. Ah. <laughs> Just a cast my new illusion on the ball. <laughs> we're back from the break. So real quick question. Are there any concentration spells that we want to cast before the game starts? Any augment abilities or... Um, I don't know, detect magic or any... Like... I have... Um, Is my new illusion any hmm? concentration spell? Yeah, I that's... have a mind sharpener as an um, infusion. I can do. Yes, the wearer gets to uh, uh, has uh, basically three buffers to not lose a concentration spell if they get hit by damage or if they get distracted. That's mm -hmm. what. Um, so you can give that to someone who's going to be holding a very powerful concentration spell. Mm okay. Um, and uh, Haley, can you tell us what uh, spells you had prepared for the beach episode, please? Yeah. I'm gonna cast a lot. Okay, so I have Charm Person. Charm Person would uh, uh, change uh, the allegiance of one of them over to your side. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Detect magic, since we're gonna use magic in the game, mm -hmm. I thought that could be really useful. That would probably give you. Um, I could probably tell you what they're gonna cast on the turn before. Okay. Um, before they cast it. Then I have speak with animals. Oh, actually, depending on whether or not we're near the forest, that could be interesting mayhem. Can you, can you turn off the music? Huh? Can you turn off the music? Because we're gonna have the neighbor's music anyways, no matter what. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a, I, I, I get, I can see that being a lot of mayhem. Um. So enhance ability. <sighs> if I remember correctly, what enhance ability does is that you select one um, attribute, uh -huh. like strength, and you get advantage on all skill checks uh -huh. related to that so uh -huh. it, since we're since we're going to be using athletics and acrobatics to uh play this game and attack and, and we're going to do, do attack rolls to represent throwing the ball um uh and then saving throws is not ability checks no that's attack rolls uh, i don't think we're going to have any saving throws unless if spells are being cast left yeah. and right Oh, also, since I got um, my meta magic, um, I can I can do careful spell. Yeah. So that that hides uh, that a spell is being cast uh, by you. Um, it it requires I... it requires no somatic or uh, like no uh, components. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me let me look it up because I thought it was like. It makes a spell more precise. No. Oh, okay, okay, so it hides that you're casting it? Yeah. Okay, okay. I also have a hold person. Oh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. That can paralyze. So you have a few, like, individual person, uh, they're called uh, save or suck spells. Because Either you make the saving throw, or Green, that can, or, or it sucks. Green, yeah. Green. Uh, for mine, that's probably bump. sanctuary. Ooh, okay. So yeah, sanctuary gives. Um, if someone is trying to aim at you with an attack, they have to make a wisdom saving throw or aim at somebody else instead. What about cantrips? Cantrips usable uh, if it's your turn. I'm gonna say it is an action to hit the ball. Uh, it is. It counts as an attack to hit the ball and uh, aim it, and you can aim it at the enemy's bodies too. The ball counts as a precise weapon if you want to be doing damage with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, also, if someone is going to be like using the ball for an like some sort of elemental attack, I have resistance, which I can use with touch on yeah. anyone. So enhance ability is essentially not useful. Is what you're saying? No, it is. No, it is. Ex it, it is extremely useful. Is what okay. I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, you would pick like 
a sort of... So before I start, I'm going to use two spell slots to cast Enhance Ability on these two motherfuckers. Um, you can cast it on two people? It's one action. You can only have one concentration spell at this time. It's not a concentration spell, but it lasts for up for an hour. It's not concentration? Oh. It's not concentration, but it lasts for up for an hour. Oh, oh no, that's really good. <laughs> that's really fucking good. When I played the video game, I thought it was concentration. Uh, um. Transmutation, one action, the range is touch, it's not concentration, yeah. up to an hour. Up to an hour. Nice. Okay. Do you want to? Do you have enough spell slots to cast it on yourself as well? Can I cast it on myself? No, it is concentration. Sorry. Uh, that must have been a misprint. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that must have been a misprint on your on your thing. I'm sorry. I played a video game that had uh, mm -hmm. all of those, so I tr tend to remember which ones, which spells are concentration. Uh, if you have, if you use a third level spot, a spell slot, you I can target. Do that. You don't have those. Next level. Okay. So you can cast enhance ability on one of y'all. No, it's not a mistake. I just keep rereading my. I keep. I keep misreading my notes. Oh, got it. So you had it written down as concentration, and you misread it. Yeah. That's okay. Um, it keeps happening because I use X's instead of check marks. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Got it. Oh, right. The spells yeah. that aren't concentration don't have an X mark, but the yes. spells that are concentration have an X mark, but because it's an X mark when I'm reading it, I'm just reading it. It, it happens. If, 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 if you want, if you want to like overwrite it as, as, a big, as a big thing. I should. Um, so. Uh, who do you cast? Do, do you cast that one? And who do you cast it on? Um, okay, who... I'm gonna cast it on Carrie Kazaras, because he has the worst dexterity modifier. That's, that, that, that's a good idea. And so, so I get to choose... Cat's Grace. Okay. Which is... The target has advantage on this dexterity checks, it also doesn't take damage from falling. Oh, nice. Okay, so the the mechanics. Okay, real quick. You are going to be making acrobatics checks to get your hands in the right position to defend against something against attack rolls. Right? Can you make hand? You yes, absolutely. If you use your action to to do mage hand, you can use athletics to move to the correct position and uh, give the help action to somebody else on their attack roll. Um, and the attack roll is always going to be acrobatics or strength? Uh, uh, attack rolls are going to be dexterity attacks. Okay. Okay? Got it. Does that... Uh, and, and then uh, if you're not using your action to help someone or to uh, do stuff, then you... Um, uh, or, to, or to attack with the ball, then uh, you can cast spells. You can use. You can do other stuff. Okay, okay. So describe for me a little bit about the game dynamics. Like, how are we going to be doing this? Um, so we're gonna roll the initiative, and based on what we roll, I'm gonna uh, we're, uh, we're gonna decide how things pan out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So armor class doesn't matter. Uh, um... Oh wow. Good. I'm rolling really well today. Hell yes. Oh, I rolled a nat 20! Oh I no! Oh, oh no! Oh no, this is bad for me. Why? <laughs> oh god, please let me uh, something high. Um, volleyball. Um, what's, what's your initiative modifier? Zero. Okay, so you should go first. Because you're at minus one. <laughs> yeah, my uh, initiative modifier is minus one. So, uh, but yes, yes. I hate my roll. <laughs> you you got, got a three. A three. The initiative plus two is five. Five. Okay. So, 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 so like, 20, um, 21, and five. Uh, yes. Yes. You got five, yes? Yeah. Cool. Sadly. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. They're going first. 
Okay, Liraza. So we're gonna have. Dang, uh, I kind of wish I would have cast like skill on some, someone else. Uh, so nine plus one. That means the dragon is at ten. The dragonborn wizard. Okay, Macaria is gonna be at the plus two. Natural twenty. 22 for Macaria. Oh my gosh, that's the tiefling? Yeah, that's the tiefling. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. everyone's getting a lot of really good rolls today. Most of y'all. It's almost ironic. And uh, Grosan is gonna roll. You usually get the eight. good rolls. Eight plus two. Mm-hmm. Uh, also yeah, ten. Sure. Okay. Uh, also ten uh, for Gryza. Okay. Three, you're going in jail. <laughs> so we're gonna do best of three. Okay. Okay. To keep it short. Uh, yeah. To keep it short. Um, cool. Let's uh, roll the dice. One of you is going to roll a d20 against my d20 uh, to see who has the ball first. Who serves first? Yeah, who has the ball first. Uh, and... Who has to do it? Um, I guess you? since you would be sir... You... It's been forever since I've played volleyball. Do you serve from the front or the back? The back. The front. Oh, oh the, back? the back? Sorry, sorry. I know zero of Oli Paul. D- 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 uh, refer, re- like, and, uh, um, okay, and somebody else. Now, body you, of anime, you know, yes, I, I, you, I thought you, you should, did. You I should, thought you did. You should go first because you're in back. You should, you, oh, you should be rolling. Oh, I didn't take my giant dice. I didn't take my giant d20. I left no, it bringing? at home. Oh, silly me. Well, okay. Uh, it will be for something dramatic that I bring that up. The giant di- table breaking dice. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, you should, should bring another thing this big. <laughs> no, it's, it's the one I showed you. Uh, yeah. It's about, it's about like the size of cool. a golf ball. Not a golf ball, kind of golf ball. Right. A softball. D20? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, alright. Uh, any magic being used to uh, alter the probability of this? It's basically a, a, a coin toss. Desert down. No, because I always okay. use this boss like that. I rolled a 16. Yeah, I rolled a 10. Okay. That's so, two out of three, though, right? Security team. Oh. No, I'm no, not, that's I'm for who starts. You you'll get the ball the next the the next time, and then they'll I get. I cast the ball. my illusion on it. <laughs> you cast my. Okay. Um, oh, roll, oh my roll, god. Roll deception. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's my, so, deception? my deception is need nothing. Minor illusion to what? Change my dice rolls? Yeah, to, to change it to look like it's the other way around. Let's see. I'm going to use the wisdom of my barbarian, which is a plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, perception. So that is a uh, 13. Nope. Fails. Is deception? It's a nine. Okay. Uh, Grazan says, oh, nice try. Okay, we said magic while we're in there. That's that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> okay, thanks for We're starting. That. Cheaters. Cheaters. It's, it's, it's all in good fun. <laughs> okay, cool. So, the way that this is going to work is simple. You can keep the ball in your field uh, um, as long as you want. Right. Uh, it's whenever one of you decides I'm gonna hit it, you can say you. We can say you roll attack, and then you are able to send it on the other side. Um, if you hold your action, you can defend against. Uh, uh, no, actually, we're just gonna use those as defenses. Um, so as your reaction, you can defend against it, uh, and you can use different stuff to give yourselves or the others advantage. Okay. So. They are going to be casting spells on us. Mm-hmm. Um, can you okay. check if um, Mage Hand is concentration for me, please? Uh, I, don't think so. I don't think so. These are like crap. Which is a good thing. I'm saying they're so good, I can't stop eating them. Because uh, I think it's a. It lasts like a minute. Hell yes. So, um, 
uh, they're gonna have a mage hand on their corner uh, as a defending thing. Hey, my mage has an invisible, so we're Oh, yeah, great. shit, that gives you advantage. Okay, so if we position like this, every square is covered uh, um, for their uh, attacks. Uh, do you want to have yours on the field doing the same thing? Yes. Cool. Yeah, it's a one minute duration. Okay, hell yes, not concentration. So Donatar can actually cast something else. Um, cool, so for the viewers at home uh, who are dealing with the shitty camera, this is Rot, this is uh, uh, the Raza, and this is Kazaris. This is the hand, this is the a mage hand. Um, My the, the, is so they can't even see it. The green one with a, with a bow is Makaria. The uh, Grazan is in the defense in the back. And Donatar is right here. Donatar cast Mage Hand. Um, Donatar is... Ooh. Donatar, you see, is going to cast a Minor Illusion. Um, uh, you see that he casts it uh, above his head, um, and uh, but there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you don't see what it like. Uh, you don't see or you don't hear whatever it is he just cast. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, cool. They only have one spellcaster, so they're at a slight disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> Almost we have has. three spellcasters. Yeah. Uh, so you can all do some weird things. Okay, cool. First on the initiative is Makaria. Makaria is going to go hard from the get-go. She is going to launch the uh, um, the attack. So that's her. She's going to launch it against the mage hand. Um, so I need. Wait, I thought she can see it. She can't see it, so you're right, so I'm going to give it a disadvantage. Uh, she doesn't realize there's a spell there, basically. So, uh, um, I don't have disadvantage. Uh, uh, I have disadvantage attacking. Um, you're rolling uh, athletics normally. I'm going to say sleight of hand because it's a mage hand or arcana, but not athletics. Uh, either or, because either okay. or is plus cool. two. Uh, hell yes. So let's just roll against one another. I keep my character sheets around. Uh, Makaria. Um, two, two. Cool. Uh, attack is a plus five. So um, they don't have, none of them have played enough volleyball to have proficiency. Would you say your characters have played volleyball before? No? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Especially since my when? I mean, you're the most likely. Most likely, I guess. Yeah, well, as a manobo. Uh, yes, uh, as a... and 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 also yeah. like I'm I'm the memory adult street former street okay, urchin. Yeah, I, I wouldn't remember it. even if I had. Yeah, I guess I'll say I have proficiency in that. Cool. Uh, hell yes. So you add your proficiency and your and your dexterity when you're attacking. So right now, just a, a good old um, counter. Uh, yeah, uh, slide of hand or a cup. Okay. Like okay. Plus two. Not one! No! S Ten. Okay, Makaria throws it off the field, uh, the ball comes back into your corner. Uh, uh... Like, reappears magically? N no, they, what, well, it's just your turn, uh, uh, so you can throw it now because, uh, so it's felt basically so in the air and on our side coming in. Yeah. No, she, cool. like, whiffed it. And yeah, it she went way off course. Yeah, she whiffed it, so you can you can throw you can throw it. And now it's oh, okay. to ne serve. Next on the initiative is rot. Yeah, and that makes sense because I'm serving. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm just doing dexterity. Do, do, do you want to put on some music again? Oh yeah. Um, dexterity. Dexterity. I'm attacking. I'm serving. Yes, absolutely. Sir. Nat twenty. No. Okay, well, maybe I will. It's beginner's roll. luck. I've never played this game before in my okay. life. Cool. So you're you're attacking. Um, so what we're good. Uh, yeah. So it goes onto their side because always when it's your turn, you're gonna be able to do something uh, different. But it means I'm. Uh, okay. Who are you uh, attacking with the volleyball? Which section? Uh, the mage hand. The mage hand is very visible, so it's gonna be. Uh, 
I'm gonna say just sleight of hand of the Dragonborn, no Arcana, no nothing. No sleight of hand, dexterity of plus one. So I have to roll that, drop 20. No, it was so close! Okay, Thank you me. strike the first uh, the first point. Okay, I got so, the first well, point. Says so one, one love. Mm -hmm. All right. Is the mage hand still on the team? Yes, okay. it is. So we're not doing actual damage. No. Uh, um, if you were telling me, no, I want to hit that person, then, oh, okay. then you would do extra damage. Um, cool. That's not what I'm trying to do. In the interest of, uh, in the interest of uh, continuing as if it was a combat, can you put it, the combat music? Uh, what? Gazaris, it is going to be your turn to serve. And what is your turn on the initiative? Okay. Um, and so combat just... music. Comic? Yeah. It's so like I... action music. It's... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, athletics. Oh, combat. But you have yes. advantage. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I heard yes. comment. On your dexterity comment. Throws. Comment music, yes. I was like, what? So, he gets rolled twice, right? Um, what are you doing? Uh, he's serving. Yeah, I'm serving, so you, that's a dexterity one, right? Yes. Okay, so, okay. and I have advantage on it, so. Yes. Oh! Well, I don't need to roll he again. He doesn't need to roll what? it again! Not 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, sh yeah, I forgot they have Bless, but Bless is for attack rolls, and they haven't gotten... They're doing all saving throws. I rolled a, I rolled a 6, um, so whoever it was who was defending, that's the second out of uh, two hits. Uh, it's gonna be... Oh, they're, uh, um, they, should, they should have served this time. Uh, it's okay. No, the team... Yeah, yeah. Um, it uh, it was because of the initiative. So well, no, okay. So the thing is, is they lost. Yes. So so like the the ball hit the ground. So we're gonna be serving again. Until right. they make a point, we'll serve. So yeah. So okay, got it. Yes. Uh, thank you for reminding me how yeah. volleyball works. Uh, it, um, it's good that you're here. I mean, it's been years, but I have played volleyball before. It's just I, at this point, it's been nearly a decade. Wait, you guys, we haven't come up with a team name. We need a team name. They're security team number two. <laughs> They're security team number two? Yeah. We are gonna be the security team. <gasps> okay. No, let's be nice. Let's be nice. Gra the only Grazan, Grazan goes into a rage uh, as his bonus action. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I say we change our... our uh, 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 team name two. I suggest we move to the only security team. How about that? No, it's too late. You already went with security team number two. Can't take that. Oh my god. <gasps> you see, he starts to yell and, uh, uh, um, going, uh, um, so, uh, bugbear, barbarians are excellent at volleyball because, um, you get advantage on the athletics check when you rage. Hot damn. Um, you have to get him angry then, too. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, Donatar. Uh, uh, yeah, it's two, zero. Okay, Donatar casts Grease. On, uh, uh, so, uh, it's gonna be on your side of the field. Okay, and I'm gonna cast Guidance on Damien. Um, him. That's an action. Oh. No, it's a cantrip. Yes, cantrips are, are actions. It's not your turn. You use your turn to, to attack. And uh, guidance is concentration as well, so you would lose oh. what, he's, what you've got with him. Sorry. Yes. Okay, yes. 10 foot square centered on a point within range. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so 10 foot by 10 foot. That's going to be 1, 2 by 1, 2. There's no way to get all of you, so it's going to be whichever target We're they're... On the other side. No, that's... that's. Oh, yes, yes. It, so it's going to be whichever target they're going for, and the mage hand is immune to uh, Grease, because it's on the floor. And plus it's invincible. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Can I... Who would I be able to think... do Sanctuary? Or do I have to wait for my turn? Um... Right, we asked, I asked, were you concentration on something? No, I, I, I don't 
have... Okay. So yes, use the spell slots, and that means... Yeah, because, because what I would be using would be an infusion, not a spell. Hell yes. You can have one infusion and one spell. So, uh, who do you cast Sanctuary on? Who do you... Who's uh, area? Let's see, where are they targeting? I d I'm not telling you. You, can, uh, you, can, you should have cast this at the, at the start of the callback. Oh, okay. Um, so, who do you think has the least acrobatics to defend against stuff? You have advantage on acrobatics. Yes. Plus yes. two on acrobatics. Um. So. Love that music from volleyball. Mm -hmm. Um. I think what I'm going to do since the mage hand. Oh, feel free to point in front of the camera so that people. Okay. Okay. Can, okay. Can see. Um. Let's see. No, like, like, put put your hand right here. You yeah. So let's see. Who's which one's the spellcaster? Uh, this, this one. Uh, yes, that's uh, Donatar, who's been flirting with you this whole time. Okay, so I am going to cast sanctuary on Laraza. Okay, so Laraza uh, has uh, sanctuary, which means if I want to attack Laraza, I will need to make an uh, wisdom saving throw. To or change the targets that I am attacking. Yes. Uh, excellent. So I think they see Laraza as the rogue and are like, this person has a lot of, of, of acrobatics. So instead, they're gonna attack uh, uh, Rot. Um, so. Uh, so I have to cast the dexterity saving throw? Not yet. So Donatar has cast Grease on you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. For blast. It was acrobatics. Acrobatics. Is that what you said? Dexterity. Uh, um, no, it, it is. It is acrobatics to get your hand exactly to the right spot to protect. Right. So yes, acrobatics. Okay, I rolled five. You rolled a five. Okay. Um, so Donatar is going to be rolling the attack against you. He's angry at you. So he's really thinking about, you know, uh, so he has advantage. Okay. You rolled a five, mm -hmm. which means you slipped on the floor. You yes. have disadvantage. So, do you roll again? Uh, yes, we do. And I roll twice. Hmm? And I roll twice. Uh, yes. Do, do, do. And I rolled an 11. <gasps> I rolled a natural one and a nine. Saving throw, right? So would that be strength? Um. No. Uh, no. It's a. It's uh, yes. uh, acrobatics. Okay. Yeah. So twelve. Twelve. Uh, cool. I rolled in nine, but in athletics, I have a plus five, so that's a fourteen. They score a point against your team. Mm -hmm. uh, They're so close. Yes. So. Um, you shouldn't I, have made them angry. I've I've uh, realized they may be angry. I've, I have bad cap I've realized that y'all got two points and I won just once. So technically, you you like we should have stopped the match already. Let's do what? best out of five. Huh? Best out of five. Let's do best out of five. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, For cool. Sure. This is fun. Cool. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. The Raza, it is your turn. Fun. Um, they they are keeping Gre Greece is still in the same area. So actually, technically, <clears throat> since they scored a point, they should get to serve. They should get to serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. That's, the, that's that's how volleyball works. So it the Raza they can serve, and I can yeah. just move yeah. to do whatever I want. So the Raza, yeah. it is your turn uh, before they serve. Do you want to do anything? Do you want to hold your action? Do you want to? Oh, you still have your familiar. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh! You know what, oh. in this case, well, what is it? Let's see. Let me check what I can make the familiar. Before. I think you can make a monkey. A monkey? Yeah, you can make a monkey. A monkey. Shirtless, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no! What about a raccoon? Oh, okay. yeah, you, yeah, you can make a raccoon for sure. And just have a cat. A cat. Oh my gosh, these are children. I mean, I mean, you unless if your familiar died in the previous 
fight and you didn't cast it since, you would already have your, your familiar. Oh yeah, I can also change the shape. Yes. I, so, raccoon is definitely on the table. Do you want to have your, your little raccoon? Sure. Okay, cool. Your raccoon can give the help action to someone to defend or attack. Alright. Okay, uh, I guess I will... And it's your turn before theirs. So you can give the help. So you can like hold your action to give the help action to someone. I will do that. I'll hold it. Okay. If I can't think of what. <laughs> same same thing with your raccoon. Yeah. Cool. So you are you're ready to give the help. Um. Okay. Back at the start of the turn is Makaria. Uh, Makaria gets uh, ready to serve. Um. And. Makaria is actually going to uh, give the help action to the next person to form. So it's actually y'all's turns, but you don't have the ball yet. All right. It's our turn? Yeah, it's your turn. No, we don't have the ball. Okay. Mine or... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Brock would go be going first. So give my yes. help action to her if she does anything, I guess. Actually, you know what? No, that's um What? Mister? Yes, no, that doesn't like holding action just really bogs down the whole thing. So she's not gonna hold the action. I changed my mind. Yeah that yeah, like, yeah, because it, I was cause like... that, that really bogs down the whole the whole uh, process. She is just going to... So if you have the ball, you can't hold action? Yeah. Um, she's going to attack uh, at the spot where the grease is at. So if you... Uh, so that's in your section again. You need to make another dexterity saving throw to avoid falling through. Could I cast Dexterity Saving Throw? Probably. I'm like sleeping and slipping in the grease, right? Yeah. Could I pull out my magic broom and sit on my magic broom? You absolutely could. Well, I gotta roll. Uh, uh, acrobatics. And the the magic broom allows you to do movements not usually available to regular people. So you have advantage. Okay. Um, okay, I rolled an 11 uh, plus... Uh, um, two, 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 uh, plus uh, two, 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 she, none of them have proficiency, so it's a plus. Wait, when did they get that? Um, yeah, from uh, that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so plus three, so that's fourteen. Okay, well, I will again. Uh, with advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So they score one two. You're now tied two to two. Okay. It's the that final. Dramatic. The final Game point. So it is your turn. Uh, uh, are there any spells or class features that you want to use? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Final uh, it is your turn, Rot. The the oh right yeah, just the ball is on your side for the purpose of of like because it's simpler effects to do, the way initiative works. So I'm just um, gonna try and hit the ball. Okay. I'm gonna serve, like yeah. hit it over again. I rolled a nat twenty. Nat twenty. No. Okay. Who were you aiming for? Um, I'm gonna specifically aim for. The guy who cast grease on me. Okay, Donatar. Donatar the wizard. Wizards are not known for good acrobatics. And this one is no exception. I have Can give you a, a I have a plus one. And I rolled a 17. Nice. For the last serve of the game, uh, um, small but mighty. Uh, describe to me how you strike the final blow of this speech match. You can jump on my back. <laughs> okay, so, so you want to get some victory music ready? So she had just hit it over to us, and I yeah. had just got my footing after slipping in the grease nonstop. Yeah. And I saw it going just over Laraz's back, 
So I like run up and I jump off his back and I spike it over right at him and it hits him in a ball sack. Oh. And he crumples to the ground. Okay. Roll damage. Oh my gosh! Wait, I can't find. I can't find any. Rot doing unnecessary damage is going to become a trope. <laughs> you you said you aimed at him in the balls. I'm counting that to mean that uh uh like it if it hits. No, uh, that's right. If it hits him before it hits the ground, it still counts as a point. Oh. If it yeah. hits the ground. With, with a natural, with a natural, tw- with a natural twenty, you definitely hit both Donatar in the balls and the ground. So. Oh Seven. my god! I rolled a sixteen. You can't, um, find, you can't um, find anything for music. How how does Tiny Rot like uh uh get into the right position for this? Are they like they're far away from the from the from the thing? So you just like do a, a little one and it bobs back down there. Or are you able to like jump super? I like jumped off of Laraz's back and like oh, spiked it at him. Nice. And when I hit it, I used like my spores to like project it forward. Nice. Uh, cool. And so. Uh, um, what do I roll for damage? I rolled a d20, but I don't think that's fair. Uh, roll a d4 for for the ball, <laughs> and it's bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. I rolled two. Okay. Uh, so my a minor. Donatar like crumples to the ground as uh uh I'm gonna like, like run over and be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. They do this all the time. And be like, oh can I ring my own? No! Oh. I'm like they do this all the time. Oh yeah. I, I, I I was expecting that from Grazan, but not from but not for your from Druids, you're supposed to be peaceful. <laughs> oh, I can't, can't y'all started damage. it. Y'all start. Y'all came for our job. Y'all started. Damage, it. damaging you. No, what? It's hey, crazy. we didn't know that we were com- that, that 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 like we would be putting y'all at at at, at risk and um. replacing you if we like we didn't know we were doing anything bad. Uh. Um. Well, uh, no, so you see, the, you see, just that, just be glad Rot didn't use thunderclap. That's all I'm going to say. That what? is a go-to spell. No, that's bad. <laughs> and, and, at level two. <laughs> at level Just two once, spell. Man. Just once. What? I had to try it out. I had to see what it was like. You almost killed a guy. <laughs> I didn't, though. You also caused structural damage. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Makaria Blackout. just claps nicely and you see Grazan like spends his second rage and like yells at the top of his lung and charges past the the net and I think he's gonna go for uh let's see a d6 so one two three four five six I rolled a one so he goes straight for Laraza make um what's your armor class 13 okay cool Uh, I have advantage because I am uh Raging, uh, you rolled a 13, I rolled a... Wait, 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 wait. La Raza... 14. You said, you said 14 as well? La Raza has... No, I haven't, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, okay, good. Go yeah, La Raza has Sanctuary. So, yes, you're right. That's your, your, your armor class is 14? It's, my armor class is 13. 13, okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, Sanctuary, I got to roll a Wisdom Saving Throw. I rolled a natural 20, so he is able to attack La Raza. Your uh, difficulty is I rolled a nine and I have plus five, uh, so 14. that so I have you have to be the fourteen. Uh, That's your difficulty. Can you run around to help me? For what kind of saving throw? Uh, it's not a saving throw. It's uh, mm. um, your uh, acrobatics to get out of the way. My acrobatics. Yeah. Plus is fucking two. Uh, is there anything I can do to help me? Um, nope. Okay. Yeah, it's like I, 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 I. Already... Nineteen plus acrobatics twenty-one. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see that he like he misses you and he keeps going, but uh, at this point he's like laughing and uh, rage doesn't like if he's not attacking someone, uh, his rage wears off and he's like, congrats, here, let me give you a hug. And so like, since you dodge, he keeps going his trajectory towards Rot for okay. a massive hug. Remember I'm on my Natural broom. 20. But I'm on my broom. 
Oh, okay. So I get uh, advantage, right? Yeah, you get advantage. advantage. <laughs> I just wanna... I rolled a natural 20. Okay. Okay, I rolled two threes. What are okay. the odds? Croissant, uh, one in 40 are the odds. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Grazan just I mean, get, like nice. takes a giant leap and uh, grabs your broomstick with one hand and grabs you with the other and like t- t- takes you into a, a like bear hug. Bug bears are really hairy, oh, uh, uh, oh, and and oh. like ju- just like he he hugs you and says congratulations, you did you did good. Uh, you take two points of rage damage. Uh, <laughs> Cute is aggression. I mean, that's, that's probably. I mean, okay. listen. It's me rescuing Empress White Paws and taking what? Two, three damage? <laughs> you hit three points of damage. Three points of damage. Yeah, taking three points of damage from the cat. Oh, did you add the, the last one that I said uh, you should add while we were uh, off screen and off recording? I'm sure he did. Okay, then we're all good. <laughs> You're sure? I, I, I'm sure he did. You're sure? Okay. Yeah, but as the time passed already, so it was... Yeah, yeah we, we, we've I'm, had like multiple yes, long yes. rests. Uh, as long as you remember you took three points of damage, and I won't forget when we do the flashback, if we want to do that fight, um, then we're all good. Okay, so maybe we should have changed our sheets. Uh, that's... Oh, right. Because um, you prepared new spells. That's okay. That's my bad. I'll just let you get the stuff. Um, it'll, it'll, <laughs> I'm... it'll give me a certain advantage, but I'm not going to say no. Sounds good. We're, we're, we're dealing with like the late 90s, early 2000s serialized TV continuity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. That's, I, I love that as a just storytelling vibe. That right. we're, that we're, <laughs> this is the beach episode. We can allow ourselves to make the, the sorts of it's not canon. narrative. No, it's canon. It's, it's canon. canon. Yeah, it's yeah, canon. For sure. um, uh, uh, don't know Tara sort of gets I mean, if Star Trek can okay. decide the giant Spock is officially canon, then yes. What's a giant Spock? All right, well, uh, what's what's the last flavor of, of, your, of your drink do? Because I don't oh, know if no. I'm good to do some more. I think we got one. Yeah, it was one. Purple. Purple. Uh, you like one of you had a sip of the purple and it was like, "Oh, this is gonna make, make us flirty." So you know what you're. Like, <laughs> you, 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 like, pink, pink was flirty. Huh? You said pink was flirty. I said purple. I heard, I thought I said pink. You did say pink. Oh, I'm pink. I'm sorry, but yeah. that is that is the last color. All right. Then, I, I I literally can't think of other magical uh, of other. You want pink or purple? Or they're flirty. Yeah. I'm gonna flip a coin to see whether or not I'm gonna drink it. And I flipped odds, and that was going to be low. Okay. So I'm not going to yeah. drink it. Cool. Yeah, but you didn't know it was, it was flirty. Did you know it was flirty? Yeah, so yes, you all know. Okay. Oh, okay. One of you had a sip, and I was like, ooh, flirty. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, are you going to drink it? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I would have forgotten anyway. <laughs> okay. Sure, let's <laughs> I'll drink it too. This is yeah, a we'll drink it. This is one of my thoughts. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, I, I, I haven't gonna, been able to make use of my claws. I'm just gonna. I, yes, and I'm yeah. also going to open yeah, the mystery it. bottle. Oh shit! Oh hell yes! Okay, you open the mystery bottle as soon as you do. Uh, this horrible acrid smell comes out of it, and you realize it's like black sludge. Oh no! Uh, with uh, like the alcohol has left. Uh, uh, has left this thing. It's all vinegar, and it's like decomposed uh, vinegar. I rolled a two on on that bottle, so you. This is not alcohol. This is not consumable. It's disgusting. Well, that was a waste of a silver. Oh. Well. Please. You know what? Those other bottles got us pretty messed up. But so. on the long run, okay. Pretty good. So now this is this is not a compulsion, right? Your characters don't have to act you're on, on this. You're, you're feeling like more like I'm gonna give you advantage if uh, either of you goes for a persuasion check. Because Rox didn't drink any of this, there's a little bit uh, left, and uh, you you see the um, your other companions who don't know. 
uh, uh, what Smith's uh, liquid does are uh, uh, a few of them uh, like glance over at it, but also it's like it's your really expensive drink. It's your fifty. Oh, we offer it. We offer oh it. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we offer whoever wants to have the okay. last. We're on vacation. Let's make bad life choices. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, uh, let me see. I think. Uh, are you gonna tell them what it is, or are you gonna trade them? I, I, so I do you want to do you want to? I think we. I, I mean, I mean, I mean. Here's the thing: is like I said, I would have forgotten what it is. Yeah. By this point, I think I think I'm just going to offer them the drink. Yeah. Well, you know what? Since straight drinking everything in the game, I think everybody just forgot yeah. what it was. I think just just for the purpose of making it clear that there is consent in in this thing, you're not being like Forceful. pushed. Like the the drink doesn't uh, um, uh, push you in any direction. The drink the drink. Uh, this stage just gives you, a, like, is, um, uh, like, basically magically boosts your confidence, uh, and, uh, um, like, mm, makes you feel, uh, yeah, like, 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 the world. like, uh, you, you, you get this, like, uh, sense of, like, fresh air and, like, uh, uh, all of the dirt, uh, that you have, uh, from playing volleyball sort of, like, vanishes and the light strikes you just right. Um, but oh, you you don't have any compulsion to act on that uh, flirtiness. Oh, okay. Cool. Donatar uh, uh, takes <laughs> t- t- takes your drink from you, uh, um, like uh, uh, looking looking into your your eyes, uh, like looking looking in your direction. Sarah then says, "I uh, I'll have to return the the favor once I get my first paycheck." Uh, to to the to to the first of uh, uh, many um, parties between uh, adventuring parties who have the same who have the same employer. And yes, yes. Finishes uh, completely. T- takes in a little bit of that silvery whipping cream uh, and sort of woo. Excellent. Okay. So, um, are you? Uh, you you have your uh, flaw. your your character flaw. Uh, uh, are, you, are you going to act upon your character flaw in this in this moment of like confidence and magically enhanced uh, um, like charisma? Sure. Okay. Uh... Who? I don't know. And any of the, I. I mean, tieflings in the D and D movie were pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's female, right? So is this one? Hmm? Uh, uh, Macaria has like as as you talk, yes, she identifies as a woman. Oh, mm. I, I prefer a man. <laughs> oh, okay, got you. So this way, mm. like. Uh, uh, Grazan is, like, uh, uh, identifies as a man, and he's, like, uh, under all of the hair, you see that, like, he's very well built, uh, he has, like, 17 in strength, so he's, like, uh... <laughs> sure, let's go with him. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, make a, um, you decide. Uh, do you want to make an insight check to sort of like get their vibes? Uh, I guess I'll do an insight just to make sure that I'm not will be pushing any boundaries on them. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, cool. Go ahead and make your roll with uh, advantage thanks to your drink. A six, a nine, five, nine. Okay. Uh, so you rolled a nine twice. No, I rolled a 6 plus 3 and a 5 plus 3. Okay, so 9 and 8. Yeah. Um, you, uh, uh, you hang out with uh, Razan for uh, uh, a little while. Uh, you have lovely conversations. He seems interested uh, and, and open. And like, to, to, uh, uh, after a few hours, he, re- like, he sort of sees where you're going and says, Oh, just... Um, before we, we sort of like establish 
our like relationship uh, uh, together. I, I just want to say I prefer to keep things very professional uh, uh, in adventuring parties and at, at uh, <laughs> work, but understandable. Uh, uh, I you seem like a great person to be friends with, and I would love that if you're open to that. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, it's on all understandable. Cool. I give great hugs to my friends. So if you ever want, I love hugs. Hey, bring it in, and like this, this giant, like uh, almost, almost as tall as Dragonborn, uh, like bear, six sort foot of one. Like, yeah, <laughs> give, gives you, gives you like that. That uh, bloody hug. Yes. Um, ooh, uh, the video has. Let's go. It, it has stopped. It's back on. <laughs> okay. Uh, Apparently, at some point. At some point, yeah. It might have been a while. Uh, Gazaris. Um. Okay, so I think I'm going to lean into this. Okay. Uh, like a dragonborn has been flirting with you all day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay. Um, and let's see. What 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 skill do you want to use? <laughs> what skill do I want to do? I have to... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I... I actually have decent charisma. Nice. Um... Um... So Donatari is also going to roll with advantage. Okay. Um, a 20. Okay, so I rolled an, an, a 1 and an 8. So, uh, okay. Uh, Tell me. Let's, let's see. Um, no. Yeah, I'm going to go for... You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for performance. Ooh, oh. nice. Uh, because... Are you are you doing a sort of dance or like funny voices or or like jokes are a ge- are a great icebreaker or sorry you know you, those, you, uh, you those, tell me the awkward flirty jokes yeah yeah and yeah. I like I I I think kind of like what I'm going for is 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 some of the like crazier experiences we've had. Nice. Oh, excellent stories and your sort of retelling them uh, mm. um, body language. Okay, cool. Uh, make your roll. All right, with advantage. Let's see. Uh, let's see. So that would be a 13. 13, excellent. So he responds to that very positively. He himself uh um rolls arcana the way that he's going to <laughs> flirt is is the, the way that he's going to flirt is he he understands that you're an artificer because you presented yourself as such and he's a wizard so he starts to like share uh uh talks about like obscure magical theories but that all have a common point to them that is that like there there's a little bit of like sex or uh, romance involved. So the, the one that he shares is like, so there's this theory in developing societies and in developing um, uh, cultures uh, um, that like, that uh, in, in like wizarding circles that posits that magic comes into a culture by stages, right? We have historical evidence that the first generation of spellcasters are bards, followed by sorcerers, followed by wizards, followed many generations later by um, uh, 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 artificers. You want to know why? It's because the bards, it can you get that magic from song, charisma, uh, storytelling and how the act of creating stories is magical in itself. And the reason that they are the first ones, followed soon by the sorcerers, wizards and artificers, is because you need... Well, in order to make sorcerers, you need, like, draconic bloodline sorcery. 
you need something to have enough charisma and magic in them to fuck a dragon. That's where that's where the draconic sor sorcerers come from. So you need to have a generation of bards before you get a generation of sorcerers. And then the sorcerers are very charismatic and nerds in that society are going to be like, ah, oh, I wish I was like those jock sorcerers uh, um, who just, like, they have it all. They have, like, magic naturally coming to them without any sort of effort. And so the nerds study magic and they learn to become wizards one generation after the, the sorcerers. And last of all, you get the artificers who sort of, like, uh, uh, bring that into a new age of complexity and are able to come up with... I've, I've heard rumors about vibrating contraptions? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is, there, is there any truth to that? So, I rolled a 12. How, on my arcana, how does Kazari's uh, respond to, to that? Um, I mean, obviously mechanical motion is one of the easiest magical effects to transfer into artifice. Do you think you would show me? Uh, sure, sure. Let's let's do an Arcana roll. Okay. I think we're gonna make that roll, and then we're gonna fade to black. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, he's gonna help I, you, I, I, so you have advantage on your last one. I got 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna... Yeah. Nice. He's, he's, yeah, a, yeah, he's involved, he's he's involved, he's involved, involved in the research. <laughs> and it's my last <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> then I think we're gonna take another break right now. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh la la! Oh la la! Oh no. There's a problem with the recording. Oh no! Oh no! Inside, fuck it, bitch! Oh my gosh, that side eye that he just gave you was so cute! My god. Oh shit, I did not. That, 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 that look. <laughs> It is not pausing, it is not letting me pause it, so I'm just going 